Hey, sir. Bob Zane, can you talk about Kenny's approach? And, uh, I mean, do you respect the way he uh, approaches it as a martial artist, not just a fighter? Uh, my, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't really, I really, I really, as far as the martial arts and a person, I really didn't enjoy when Kenny lied about him texting Dave Weintraub. But besides all that stuff, I think Kenny's, uh, you know, he's, he's very serious about his martial arts and, and, and in, that, in that aspect. So I, I got to be serious about that. And then if you talk about the personal thing, I mean, he kind of said his relationship with you changed when you trained uh, Joel O'Donnell for that fight. Uh, what's your reaction to that? You know, Joe was on my team for the fight. I, I actually, you know, the the sad thing was, was for Joe because my girlfriend got pregnant at the same time and he really didn't have a good training camp at all. And, and, I, and I had to apologize to Joe for that. You know, he ended up going home early to Boston and, and his training camp for that fight with Kenny really, really wasn't... Uh, he really wasn't up to par for um, his standards, and, and, and I feel bad about that. But, I mean, I, I, I can understand, I guess, where Kenny's coming from on that. You know, maybe he didn't like that I trained Joe, but I, I knew Joe personally, and, and I couldn't really turn him down. But but in but in the hindsight, I really didn't get a chance to train Joe because because I was so busy uh, doing some other stuff. And we'll go next to Stephen Morocco with MMA Weekly. Hey, question for BJ. Um, BJ, um, what's... The primary motivator for you in this fight is it the uh, text message that Kenny sent, or is it the previous fight? What's uh, really been driving you these days? I, I, it's got to be the previous fight, you know. It's, it's got to be uh, uh, getting my butt kicked and and wanting to come back and and get back to form, you know. The text message that, that Kenny sent, you know, that 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 was bad. It, the whole GSP fiasco, and then Kenny Kenny going out and making me look like a liar was was just. It was a double whammy on me. It, it was like everything was just kind of building up on me and kind of irritating me a lot. But um, but besides that, you know, I you know I I lost my last fight and and I I want to get back to in there and I I want to get back to form and and I want to, you know, I I'm 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 itching. I'm I'm anxious. You know, I I I want to see. I want to get in the ring and and I, I want to. I've been noticing that you've been doing a lot more posting, obviously on your on your uh, personal website and and less interviews with the media. Is there a specific uh, reason for that or? Yeah, no, I, I just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do any media that that I'm contracted under with the UFC, you know, uh, that they're my boss and, and this and that, but uh, I just didn't like how the, how the, uh, the media portrayed me uh, after the GSP fight. I, I didn't like how, how MMA Weekly portrayed me after the, the GSP fight, and uh, um, I don't know as far as that goes, and and that's just it, man. I don't like uh, how Sure Dog, how MMA Weekly, how MMA Junkie, how all you guys portrayed me after the... The GSP fight, and uh, I'm done doing. You know, I'm I'm done working with you guys. How do you feel we portrayed you? Um, you know, uh, Rafi, Rafi, he sent you guys the. Um, he sent you uh, um, my complaint to the Nevada Athletic Commission, and Rafi's a pretty high strong guy, and he went in and and he added in that. Uh, uh, of course, it wasn't my doing. I never even heard of a pill that could make someone greasy. Rafi went and added that in, and all, and that's all you guys wanted to report. Then. Ten files of complaint says GSP took a pill that made him greasy. You guys didn't want to report on anything else that we warned the commission before the fight. You never want to report on anything. You guys got to remember when Ryan Bennett died, our family, my family donated how much stuff for you for MMA Weekly. We kept doing stuff. We kept doing things for MMA Weekly because of our love for Ryan Bennett. And that's how you go and treat us. But whatever. I'm done with you guys. Hey, fair enough.